There are so many chatbots, it's really hard to keep up. Google's Bard is now Gemini. Chat GPT. Okay, let's talk about the sudden rise of an artificial intelligence company called DeepSeek. It's not easy to know which model you should be using. So today, we're gonna test the top four on a simple task of figuring out inaccurate information. Step one is to create a 500 word essay with information of things that happened in the 1990s, but to include three inaccurate things that never happened. We're gonna use ChatGPT to write this. Now we have a fake essay along with three fictional events, a state merger of California and Nevada called Calvada, the discovery of naturally occurring Wi-Fi in the Appalachian Mountains, and the Silent City movement. Let's test some chatbots to see if they can figure out that these are wrong. Let's write a prompt that looks for fictional events. Now we'll paste in the essay below, and we're going to save the prompt. We're going to use O1 in ChatGPT, the strongest model we have access to right now. Let's test it out. So there are three fictional events. We have the first one, Calvada, the second one, naturally occurring Wi-Fi, and the third one, the silent city movement. But then also we have the fourth one, Polybius. I don't really know anything about Polybius, so I Googled it. And here you go. It's actually an urban legend. So the fact that Owen caught this and when we originally wrote it, it didn't even have it on the list is a really great sign. For ChatGPT01, I give it a 10 out of 10. Now let's see how our friend Gemini does. I saved my prompt in my sidebar here, and let's test it out. That was very fast and I got all four. 10 out of 10 and a bonus point for speed. Now over to Claude. Let's go to our prompts, put in that and see how it does. Perfect. So you can see it got all four again and very fast, 10 out of 10. Now let's see what Deep Seat can do. Great. This one also got all four and a little bit slower than Gemini and Claude, but about the same as ChatGPT. So this also gets a 10 out of 10. ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, and DeepSeek all got 10s out of 10. What does that mean? Is something weird going on? Are they tricking us? Well, the good thing is all of these are very capable AI models. They do a lot of tasks really well. So if you're not trying to do something extremely hard, chances are you can use any of these and get really good results. The one thing that's very important across all of them is that you write really good prompts. What you get out of an AI model is only good as what you put in. If we had not given enough context on what we were looking for or provided the essay or structured the prompt right, we might not have gotten the exact same answer. But the real sticking point is you can write really good prompts and all these tools are amazing. From where we were like two years ago, these models are basically alien. So if you spend time writing good prompts and you use any of these tools, you're gonna have a good time. The prompt is below in the description if you wanna try it out, along with links to all these chatbots.